Hi everyone, it's Lene. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I have a perfect little gift for any time of the year, but we've got stocking stuffer or a perfect little hostess gift, birthday gift. Um, these are mini paper bag folders. They are so fast to make. I can't wait to show you how to put this together in this tutorial. If any of this sounds interesting to you, keep watching and I'll tell you how you can win it for your very own. That's right, I'll mail it to you and um, you can keep it for yourself or share it with a friend. So just keep watching. All right, as I mentioned, these little mini paper bag folders are great for any occasion. And I thought I'd give you a little quick flip through the one I made for Christmas. So it's got this great little belly band. This is just one eight, excuse me, this is just one inch uh, red grow grain ribbon. And then we just flip through this. We've got our little pocket here on the side. Great for little tags, business cards. And then I'm just using a little golf pencil, but you could also just trim down a regular size pencil. Um, I went ahead and used these great little, they're like post-it notes. These are mini writing tablets. These are from, uh, the Dollar Tree, and they were actually three for a dollar twenty-five. Um, they measure three and a half inch by five inch, so that just made them fit really, really well within this paper bag. Um, I went ahead and just decorated a little right here, but the rest of the pages don't have anything on them. So what I used for this book was Snowflakes and Snowfolk six by six pattern cardstock from Hot Off the Press. And I'll link this down below. It's got the cutest papers in it, you guys. So cute. And I wanted to show you the little pocket here inside. I just cut some paper down into making some little tags. It's great to store things. You could also put some uh, gift cards in there. It's just a great little multi-purpose folder. It was really, really quick to make. So the base for this is made from these gifts, these paper bags, they're called gift sacks, but they're just a lunch sack, a little smaller size. I got these at Hobby Lobby, 12 for $3. They're usually on sale. I think I spent $1.50 on these, um, each one. Um, I found them in white today. So that's what inspired this one for Christmas. And all you're gonna do with this take one and fold it in half. They measure five inches wide, okay, by 10 inches tall. And this is so easy, you guys. All you're gonna do is fold it in half, take your bone folder, give that a good crease. All right, and then we're gonna take a little bit of glue under this little gusset here. Oops, got my little pin in there. Some gusset and on the gusset rather, we're just going to take a line of glue right here on either side. And we're just gonna hold that down. And while that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the front. Now, as you can see, these are just the perfect size bags to fit these little notepads. And three for $1.25, that's a great deal. So you can make three of these little books without any problem. For this one, I am using um, a nesting place, six by six pattern cardstock from Hot Off The Press. And this is just sweet. It's got all of these little spring designs. And as I said, these are great for a year around to make. They make great little gifts. And I just like to keep, I think a stash of these is what I'm gonna do and just have them seasonally. So I could make some fall ones to give people who have maybe birthdays in the fall. Uh, I know these are gonna make great stocking stuffers too. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, I've gone ahead and I've pre-cut some of the six by six down. And I'm just gonna show you where I did the cutting here. This is how I generally just do this. Um, so that you can use this with any size lunch sack. It doesn't have to be these from Hobby Lobby. I just sort of trim it here and right here and then use my paper cutter and go straight across and cut that. And that way you know how to make this fit and have a nice little border around it so you can use any size bag with this. And then I like to ink those edges. Love to use 
some brown when I'm using craft cardstock or anything that's got that nice brown paper. go and this is going to get glued here but before that I've got this nice space on the top and I really love this little bird and I wanted to do sort of a border here so what we're gonna do is either no actually I wanted to use the bird's nest that's right so I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to tear I love that barn wood sort of look on this one we're gonna use that to go across the top edge, just to sort of make a little bit more of a decoration on our book, give it a little bit more interest. All right, so for this, because I'm gonna glue it right across here, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue here and here, and then just kind of go across right there. And then I get to sort of have that nest that's going right there, like this is up in the tree. I just like that idea. There we go, okay. So then this is going to get glued to the front cover. And you could absolutely use tape runner to do this. If you've watched my videos before, you know, I really like using liquid glue. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do that on the cover. We have some cute little cutouts here that we're gonna add in a little bit, but we're gonna do the front cover and then for the back, Got the little bird houses right here. I thought that was so cute. Just to have something fun on that back. It's kind of a little surprise. I mean, you could use the opposite side, which has got a green pattern, but I really want to take advantage of that birdhouse theme. All right. So now we get to go ahead and do the inside. For the inside of these little books, I don't really want to waste the pretty patterned paper on what's going to be the back where the little uh, notes are going to be. So I've just got some sort of yellowy ochre colored paper here. Oops, the other side is brown. Oops, got some glue on my hand. All right, that's gonna go right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take care of this right here. I've got some paper cut down right there, and that's the cute little house, little bird house. It's from this one right here. And I think you'll see that other than cutting down the papers, which you could do many of them at once. I mean, in each one of these little six by six paper packs, there's four of each of these designs. So you grab yourself some paper packs and you get yourself some of the little dollar store notepads and some of these bags and you could just mass produce several at one time. All right, so, and then in there, we could put some little tags. You know, you've got your little cards to stick there. And then we're all ready to put another one of the pads. That fits just so nicely right there, but we still have to make room for the little pencil, which is so nice to add that in. So what I did with this, I just took my little pencil and I just went like this around at just to kind of curve that. Oops. And then we can go ahead and ink that a little bit too. And then we're gonna put a little glue right up next to those folds. And we're gonna put one right there. 
And then you can go ahead and just put that pencil in and just move that, move that over. And it can just hang out right there while that dries. And then we're just gonna put some glue on the back of this. And that's gonna go right up, kind of overlapping that pencil holder. There we go. And then a couple more tags, just trimmed from extra paper. These could be great bookmarks. You could stick a gift card to the back of them. And because this is a paper bag and it's got two gusseted areas there, there's room for two little spots to put your tags. And then we've got all of our little tags that we cut down. Where did they go? Here they are. So we've got some tags like this from the little cutout page. So cute. So if you wanted to go on the front here, you could put to my friend, which would be so cute. That's adorable. Maybe we'll use a little foam tape on that. And then when this is, actually, you know what? I don't want to use foam tape because I want to be able to get my belly band off easily because I am going to tie this with some ribbon. So yeah, glad I caught that. We're gonna put that right there. Then on the inside, we can go ahead and use some foam tape. That is so cute. So we could put home sweet home right there. Let's just use up the foam tape that's on my finger. Just like that. And then this one, which is Love Your Smile, we can just glue that just to the first page, just to kind of get it started with something cute there. All right, and then we just fold that, and then I've got some more ribbon here. Once again, I'm using Grain. This is only half inch wide. And you know what's funny is when I'm tying ribbon, often I find if I tie it upside down, it works out a little better. <laughs> and even you notice that, isn't that funny? So let's try it. Ooh, this is really dirty. It's got ink all over it, what's that about? There we go. On the, <clears throat> on the outside of the roll. All right, yeah, so it's funny. If I like tie upside down, a lot of times I get a nicer looking bow. So let's just try it out. Let's see if the theory works. And I get asked all the time about tying bows and really don't stop with your first tie. Like. Once you tie it, you're not done. That is not done. We have to kind of manipulate it and get everything kind of going in the right direction. Sometimes I make it smaller, and then I give it a kind of a tug there. Sometimes I move this tail sort of down. There we go. And now, we can trim the tails with a little notch. So if you fold the ribbon in half, you're gonna fold it like this. And then if you cut on this side, if you cut away, you're gonna get a nice little notched ribbon. It's kind of a dovetail. And then on this side, if you do the same, It's always harder on the side that's not your dominant hand, right? Let's see if we can do this without chopping me. There we go. All right, so there you have your nice little presentation. Got this one, my little belly band. And I 
There we go. So you guys, as you can see, really fast to put together. For sure easy to make so i'm going to make several of these and keep them on hand for the holidays i think they're going to be great stocking stuffers add a gift card in there a great little hostess gift to bring along with you and then to make them throughout the year and just have a little stash of those is great for a little gift to give a friend so don't forget you guys if you like this video liking a video is so important um, I know when I get involved in a video, sometimes I forget to do that, but it really helps the channels. So yeah, when you like a video, liking it, just taking that little action of a thumbs up really helps the creators. And also comment and subscribe because when you do that, it puts you in the running to win one of these. That's right, we're gonna choose one and the next Thursday, a week from today, watch the next video and we're gonna announce the winner in that video. If you email me and let me know that it's you, I am going to let you choose either the snowman one or the little bird one, and I will mail it off to you in snail mail so that you can have it to keep or to share with a friend. So thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel.